for reading out loud. Deuteronomy 30, as read by Shirley Evans. In the future, when you experience all these blessings and curses I have listed for you, and when you are living among the nations to which the Lord your God has exiled you, take to heart all these instructions. If at that time you and your children return to the Lord your God, and if you obey with all your heart and all your soul all the commands I have given you today, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes. He will have mercy on you and gather you back from all the nations where he has scattered you. Even though you are banished to the ends of the earth, the Lord your God will gather you from there and bring you back again. The Lord your God will return you to the land that belonged to your ancestors, and you will possess that land again. Then he will make you even more prosperous and numerous than your ancestors. The Lord your God will change your heart and the hearts of all your descendants so that you will love him with all your heart and soul, and so you may live. The Lord your God will inflict all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate and persecute you. Then you will again obey the Lord and keep all his commands that I am giving you today. The Lord your God will then make you successful in everything you do. He will give you many children and numerous livestock, and he will cause your fields to produce abundant harvests. For the Lord will again delight in being good to you as he was to your ancestors. The Lord your God will delight in you if you obey his voice and keep the commands and decrees written in this book of instruction. And if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. This command I am giving you today is not too difficult for you. It is not beyond your reach. It is not kept in heaven so distant that you must ask, who will go up to heaven and bring it down so we can hear it and obey? It is not kept beyond the sea so far away that you must ask, who will cross the sea to bring it to us so we can hear it and obey? No, the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart so that you can obey it. Now listen, today I am giving you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. For I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to keep his commands, decrees and regulations by walking in his ways. If you do this, you will live and multiply and the Lord your God will bless you and the land you are about to enter and occupy. But if, if your heart turns away and you refuse to listen, and if you are drawn away to serve and worship other gods, then I warn you now that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live a long, good life in the land you are crossing the Jordan to occupy. Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God 
obeying him and committing yourself firmly to him. This is the key to your life. And if you love and obey the Lord, you will live long in the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. For reading out loud, Deuteronomy 30 was read by Shirley Evans. Please remember to like this video and share it with all your loved ones. Also remember to subscribe to the channel, turning that notification button on so that you can be informed of more episodes of For Reading Out Loud. If you wish to support the channel, please do so by contacting us on the details in the description below. Please check out more readings on the screen to be inspired by the Word of God read out loud. In the meantime, thank you so much for listening.